JB Bob, back with another goddamn interview. Back with uh, the black metal legend, not a homo hoagie. Um, Attila from the band Tormentor and Mayhem. So, uh, thanks for joining the Bob. Oh, it's great. It's really cool, you know. It's my pleasure to be here. Been a watcher of the uh, of the JB Bob for quite a while, so it's great to be on, you know. <clears throat> Date notes, devils. Want to be a true cavalled tough guy that would definitely get into the salty spittoon? Gotta subscribe to the Bob. So, um, first question for you, Attila. Um, how did you join the band Mayhem? You know, uh, growing up in um, in Hungolia. Uh, I expect the the metal scene wasn't a uh, wasn't exactly big back then. So how did they reach out to you? Well, back in the day, in the in the eighties, yeah, the scene was very different, you know. Back in the uh, the tape trading days, I was a big fan of the of the band Frankie Goes to Hollywood, right? Part of the uh, fan club, and I was sending so many tapes to this this guy in Norway, right? This Euronymous. And uh, he heard one of my demos for, uh, for Tormentor. And he contacted me and he said, do you want to come over and like hook up on that in, the, in Norway? I said, sure, right. And I found out it's in this band and um, yeah, I said, sure. I'll go, go for a, go for a uh, rehearsal, you know? Can't really say I'm familiar with uh, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, but uh, uh, what was your Ronimus like as a, as a person? Was he a, was he true cavalt? Yeah, he's a pretty cool guy. He was uh, quite shy until you get in the bedroom, you know. But uh, like a lot of those Norwegian guys, very like cold on the outside, but you, you get them in the sheets, JB above, and you know it's a different story, right? Can't exactly uh, speak from experience on that one. Uh, I'll take your word for that. But uh, what about the uh, the rivalry between the scenes, between black metal and death metal? Uh, did you see any of that in uh, in Norway? No, no, no rivalry, nothing like that. Actually, I want to put the record straight. I watched the uh, the Almighty GB interview when he finally stopped ducking the bob, and uh, he mentioned about meeting Euronymous somewhere in in USA. Well, the actual story is a little different, right? So. Um, Glenn actually met Euronymous years before he went to Norway, went to Oslo to uh, get their side signed to uh, Death Like Silence, right? And Euronymous' boyfriend at the time, this uh, this Bart Faust, you, you know, the guy from Emperor, right? Uh, well, he found out this uh, this hunky American guy was coming to stay with Euronymous and he wasn't too happy, you know? So he went out to try and uh, get his attention. And he found this Algerian guy, he, uh, he killed him there, fucking killed him, you know? And, um, yeah, it still didn't really work, because Euronymous was, you know, getting uh, all nine inches of Glenn Benton, so he still wasn't really bothered, you know? God damn it, another backdoor black metal bozo on the channel. Let, let's wrap things up, Attila. Anything you want to add? Well, I was going to tell you about the time I went to, uh, went to go help in the recording process for Abruptum. You know how they got those screams, JB Bob? You want to know? No, I certainly do not want to know. I'm actually considering uh, cancelling your uh, your performance at a Dead by Dog like fest. Actually, can't have too many of those homo bands. Ah, yeah, JV Bob, we need to tell you, we need to cancel that show. Uh, well, Necro Butcher got uh, got monkeypox from those guys in uh, guys in attic, and he's only just recovered, and there's some some bad blood, you know. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> that mouth shut. I will not hear any slander towards the almighty, that's an almighty, God damn it! the almighty attic, and especially not from some bug's life black metal bozo. End of interview, so that's all I gotta say in a matter of... So.